Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, Cut the Tape, and that's gonna be the intro to the show. Okay, so one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Cut the Tape. New Year, New Me edition. It's been a while. Uh, if I sound off today, if I, if I look a little pale. Boy, I just got done having... COVID and that was not fun. You may notice the beard is gone. This is what my face actually looks like. Yeah, I've uh, got my vaccination, had three boosters and boy, I got it bad. I got it so bad. COVID was not fun, nor having to reopen the shop after two weeks. I mean, the month is almost over. Listen, if you want to do something nice for me, support me. Come to the Frame Picture Shop. Throw some business my way. But in the last couple of weeks that I've been sick, I've had boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff pile up. And what did I have waiting for me here at the office? Oh, more, more bills. <laughs> Besides more bills. Jesus. is this. It's time for Ghostbusters. This is the HasLab Egon Proton Pack. Lifelong Ghostbusters fan. Let's open this baby up and take a look. Before we do, I actually had a little something over here. A little something about something. I got the neutrino wand. I got the neutrino, oh, there it goes. I got the neutrino wand. This is the proton pack. Please open from bottom. That's what she said. Sometimes if you need to open a box and you can't get it out, you set the bottom open, get rid of that vacuum. Come on, baby. And in a perfect world, it comes out. Boy, I do not have strength for this. It says, please open from bottom. All right, so why wouldn't it be packed and bottom up then? Just saying. All right, so. The famous box in a box in a box. Yup. Box in a box in a box. Shake your booty. I was not expecting this to arrive until March, but here it is. So this looks like a trunk. It's a, it's a cardboard box, but it looks like it's supposed to be a, you know, a heavy trunk, a steamer trunk, because when you would take long voyages on a steam trolley, which is a boat, you would have a trunk instead of a suitcase. thing is taped up pretty well. Box looks pretty nice. Uh, 
it's got a little, you know, faux thumb pad in there. All right, so let's move this a little closer. All right, so first thing we have instructions. Instructions come in a little paper bag. I assume it comes assembled. All right. It's supposed to look like they were handwritten or like on a chalkboard or something. Hasbro is famous for the black and white instructions. Not a fan. Oh, this is cool. All right. If you haven't seen Ghostbusters Afterlife, I got to explain that in order for you to understand the box. All right. The box looks like Egon's floor, right? And you have to move the pieces in the floor a certain way in order to unlock the box. Nice. Fantastical samples. Potentially sentient. Handle with extreme care. Phantasmical. Phantasmical. I don't think I've ever been this excited to open a Ghostbusters toy as I am right now. All right, so these are the little, like, uh, marshmallowy bits that hang off the uh, the proton pack. I think these glow in the dark too. I'm not a, I'm not crazy about these, but you know they're one of the add-on things if you did the the Has Lab. Uh, has starter. I don't know what you call it. All right. So that don't need to display that. Got a little box that looks like a trap. All right. Very cool. Let's take a look inside. What is in here? Oh. These are the little um, Stay Puft Marshmallow Dudes. There's a whole assortment of these guys, as seen in the film. All right. And then there's a bunch of different uh, heads, apparently. You can switch up the heads, and there's a couple bodies in here. I'm not going to display these either. But they're. That's cool. I mean, that's a cool little thing. It's not for me, but that's all right. Is there something underneath this? There is not, no. So, take this top part off. And now we're in the heart. This, this is, I mean, this is all I wanted. <laughs> oh. That's it. That, that is it. I mean, first of all, this thing is one-to-one -one scale with the film. It's heavy as hell. Oofs. All right. Let's put this down here. Move this over here. So. I 
I mean, this looks pretty authentic. Those are the battery packs. It's got a bunch of knobs. Um, you know, these are not real wires. I, um, wow. I thought it would just be cheaper just to buy real wires and cut them to size, uh, but I guess not. They had to make rubber wires. One more box. So, don't tell me there's a sticker sheet with this. I mean, you pay all that money, you really don't want there to be a sticker sheet with it. There's a sticker sheet. There is couple other just cool little stickers are are you a god depends on which one of my exes you ask too cool for <laughs> oh dear 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 and this is egon's journal nice little like uh scrapbook of the ghostbusters and of the, the you know the three films not the, you know, n you know, when they announced the cast of the, of the female Ghostbusters film, I was real excited. I love Kristen Wiig. I think she's super funny. Melissa McCartan. She can be very funny. She's always great on SNL. Leslie Jones, hilarious. And, uh... Oh, gosh. Kate McKinnon. Very, very funny. But the film just did not, did not jive. All right, so this is the stand. This is, this is all part of the stand. Fantastic. Um. I want to know if that stand could be attached to the wall because I want to hang it right here in my store. And this, this is what I'm looking for. So this plugs in. Got a couple accessories here. Okay. That, that attaches. That's an attachment. This is a little orange plug because, you know, gun laws require you to have an orange plug. And now we have some screws. All right, so I assume these are for hanging it up. All right, instructions. First of all, we're gonna check out the detail on the inside. Ooh, very nice. 
We never got to see the in, the inside of this, but there's there you know there's working buttons in here. That's cool. This fits in nicely. And remember, righty tidy lefty loosey. All right, so. Uh, this part goes right here. All right. It does it does come off? Are there any batteries in here? No. That's a diecast piece. Show me how to connect the neutrino wand or the proton wand. All right, so proton wand. No, no, I, sh I should know this because I mean, how many times have I seen this film, right? How many times have I seen this film? All right. There it is. But I got to connect my proton wand. That doesn't feel right. Well, all right, so this. There we go. And people are going to see me. They're going to drive by. They're going to see me wearing this. They're going to be like, what is happening in that dude's store? Does this connect to this? Oddly enough, there were no instructions on how to connect this. One thing I didn't know is that there's a little compartment here I never knew there was a little compartment there.
How in the hell? Oh, so that, that slides out and then you slide this in. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. That way this will power this rather than this needing its own batteries. All right. So. You know what you know what we're going to do. How could I not try this on? Right? <laughs> I mean, this is what this is what I've always wanted. Right? This, this is the moment when you become, you transcend collecting toys. And it becomes something else. How's it look? I can't see. I honestly can't see how it looks, but I can do this, and that is pretty cool. Can I put it back? I cannot put it back. So, this is the Ghostbusters Proton Pack from HasLab with my neutrino wand. I'll find out what type of batteries it needs, and then I'll put them in here, and uh, I'll update you guys next time I do cut the tape, which will be pretty soon because I'm doing this on top of boxes from Big Bad Toy Store. So, there it is. This is a little wonky to get on there. And then this is, this is a little weird. I don't know what you would put in here. There's, you know, if this was the 80s, then there would be a little ghost that goes in here. All sorts of cool knobs. Let's just see what type of batteries it needs, real quick. Ooh, four, four of the fatties. All right, cool. So that's it. Hey, that's it. We, we had to open all of this just to get to that. So thank you very much. Cut the tape and remember, get vaccinated, get boosted and stay safe. Wear a mask.